Hello everyone, this is Swiss Coaster Enthusiast. Tomorrow we are at Plops along the Pan uh, for a Ride to Happiness ERT. And I said tomorrow because right now we are in Antwerp in Belgium. And we were supposed to just drive through this city and, and get to the pun or close to the pun. Yeah, to our apartment basically. <laughs> yeah, um, like, uh, but uh, this guy took a wrong turn um, and I spotted a random uh, fare on the side of the road and we found out that it has three counts. So we decided to just fuck it, uh, let's stop here, look for a parking space and uh, go to the fair. But the parking space, finding a parking space was one of the hardest challenges like ever. Uh, it, like it is a hour. story for itself. I don't know if I'll uh, include that in the video or uh, some, some kind of explanation, but I don't know. <laughs> One sentence. Usual Pinfari sketchiness. What the fuck? What the fuck was that? If I can't properly edit this video to make sense, I'm sorry. Das ist das smootheste Kirmes Kitty Coaster, den ich je gefahren bin. Irgendein chinesischer Hersteller oder so. Okay, we've just done our last count here on the ferry and that was actually an insanely smooth uh, kiddie coaster by Good. I have a new favorite break dance too. Those were the best six minutes of my life. I love this thing. People hype it up so much and it's true. This one is so good. It even has live DJ. Dude, decadence alone was worth 90 minutes searching a parking spot for this ride is incredible like oh my god such a good ride i don't know if this bit from the fun fair is making any sense i don't care i'm gonna put it in anyway but uh yeah to sum it up um it was totally worth it uh looking for a parking space for 90 minutes just to go on this fair the three counts in decadence Incredible experience, incredible rides, and uh, yeah, that was an unexpected twist to our uh, Belgium trip to Plopsalon de Pan, but it was so good. 12 o'clock midnight.
tomorrow. I'm here at Club Salam Tepan, as you can tell by Right to Happiness right here. Um, today is the day of the Right to Happiness ERT and we're here at the park right now. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Uh, I'm so excited to ride this ride today with its full power and also the other rides like Anubis because these are really really good. So yeah, I, um, I'm really excited. We have to wait for Ride to Happiness to open. It opens at 11 a.m. today. Uh, one hour later than the park, but uh, yeah, let's go. What the fuck, bro? This ride, holy shit. Still running slow, but still delivering. Oh my God. Oh. Ah. Speechless, dude. Speechless. Holy shit. Holy shit. I cannot do 90 minutes of non-stop ride to happiness tonight. It's impossible. I know that already. Oh my fucking god. I'm going for round two. Oh, what? All right, uh, sorry, I forgot that I was making a vlog here at Club Salon. Uh, I apologize for that. Anyways, it's about 4 p.m., two hours until the ERT starts on Ride to Happiness. A uh, really cool park so far. I uh, really liked all the things that we have, uh, that there are, like uh, Ride to Happiness, of course, Anubis the Ride, really cool, Heidi the Ride, also very nice, and Dino Splash, the log flume is actually very fucking good. Awesome feeling. We're on a log flume. We are on a log flume. Okay, I'm gonna shut up. Uh. Oh. Oh, Alter. <laughs> 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 Log flume with the best pacing ever! <laughs> Alter! <laughs> We're on the log flume! We're on the log flume! We're gonna get wet! Oh! 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 Alter! <laughs> This was supposed to be a plop salon vlog, but I, I don't know how much video material I got. Um, I just put in every single video that I felt like would fit here. Alright, it's nearly park closing time. The crew already gathered here outside on the entrance plaza of Ride to Happiness. Overall, this has been an amazing day. Um, really, really good rides. Like, um, Heidi the ride, Anubis, and of course Ride to Happiness, really cool park, and yeah, no, Club Saland struck gold with this coaster, like this is probably one of the best decisions this park could have ever done, or could have made. Club Saland and Muck Rides did everything correct with this ride, like the, 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 
decoration, the scenery, the layout, the theme, like so good, so good. So when the theme and name first were announced for this coaster, all the people clowned or joked around, but this really works for this ride. Like the name Ride to Happiness, legit. This is legit, like true, true words have never been spoken. It's so good. Um, so, update. The boss of Plop Saland decided like a few hours before the ERT that we're on a, only gonna get one train even though it was clearly stated in the contract that we would get two trains and it's some major like bullshit you know we don't get it why the boss of Plopsaland is doing this um, the both trains work fine technically they could be used for the ERT but for some reason the boss of Plopsaland says only one train we don't know why what the f all right hello swiss coaster enthusiast from the editing stage here um originally we were supposed to have two trains for our ride to happiness ERT but a few hours before the ERT started the boss of plop salon decided to only give us one train for our ERT uh, we all were pretty salty or pretty mad that we only got one train even though we were promised two but in the end it turned out that one train was enough for our ERT because the one train that we got to use always had a free seat after the first 30 minutes because most of the people were just not riding the coaster because we were pretty exhausted from riding the coaster beforehand so many times because it was a walk on nearly the entire day and so that worked out pretty fine all right uh, that's enough explanations uh, back to the vlog smash that is pretty sus so i just did a ride in the front row or in the front car this ride i just had it was not fun anymore it was just not fun anymore a limit has been reached the ride is so this coaster is so good but a limit has been reached i just physically cannot anymore i just felt my body was begging me to get out like i wasn't having fun anymore i felt sick to my stomach almost this is too much. Falscher Spinning Coaster, ihr Keks, Alter. Update. We still have like 30 minutes left of the ERT. And we're all, or pretty much all of us, there are a few people that are still going, but most of us are completely fucking wrecked like we cannot physically ride coaster anymore uh, it's a combination of a slight headache uh, the legs hurt everything this ride is just too much to have a two-hour ERT on the forces are way too extreme for this long of a time or uh, for this many minutes in a row I, I can't even anymore it's not healthy i feel like a new york key on right to happiness is not healthy <laughs> so this wraps up our expert do the expert no this is an expedition to force anyways haha <laughs> wtf this wraps up our ride to happiness ERT it was fucking exhausting we all died today i think at least most of us this ride is extreme 
<sighs> but it was nice, it was nice. Such a good coaster. Definitely my number one. Glad to have done it again. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna do the conclusion to the vlog later. But uh, yeah. The next day. So uh, yesterday we were at Plopsaland and we had a Ride to Happiness ERT. It's uh, the next day right now and we are driving back. But while we drive back home, uh, we are stopping at some other parks uh, or at some other places to get some additional coaster credits. And we are here at Denley's Park. And now we're at Denley's Park. There is a count. And over there is a Zampella drop tower. Nice. This park actually looks pretty cute. Dude. Mini log flume. Oh my god, best ride in the park, dude. Holy shit. We're in some random uh, SPF Visa spinner knockoff by Gosetto. Gosetto, yeah. Gosetto, Alter. <laughs> Besser als Ride to Happiness. <laughs> Alter. Der ist actually geil, Alter. So viel besser als Visa. This is actually fun, bro. <laughs> oh. Fuck, Alter. Digga, wie viele Runden macht das Ding noch, Alter? So we just wrote this thing. This is a Gorsetto, a family spinning coaster. I don't know if I pronounced that manufacturer correctly, but this was actually really, really fun. We spun a lot and it was smooth and uh, we did a lot of uh, like laps. It was actually good. Power, power. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh my God, Digga, Alter. Oh. 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 Ah. Ah. Fuck! Alter! Alter! And we gotta do two laps on this shit! Oh my god! So we've just done this so cane abomination! Uh, ow! That hurt! Um, Lateral slams all over the place. My voice is still dead from the right to happiness ERT, bro. Alter. <laughs> uh, never again, bro. You know, I'm not here. Sitzen und fährt nochmal die andere Seite. Ja, tatsächlich. Drei bis Okay, so this coaster, one side is actually decent uh, and smooth, but the other side is just goofy up profiling. Like, so the side with the white turn on the top is actually really good. And the side of the coaster with the more compact turns on the inside is actually very bad. Like the profiling is cringe, but um, it was not as bad as expected. So uh, yeah, that was then Lee's Park and now we're going to the next stop. Okay. This, coast, uh, this coaster felt like my first No Limits creation, but I forgot to hit the bumper Jesus. <laughs> for, for real. But only the second half for real. Yeah, uh, the, the first half was nice. 
So to summarize, Denley's Park uh, with its three counts is a very, it's a very beautiful park, but the counts uh, mostly are kind of garbage. The spinning coaster was good, and the first side of Nitro uh, was really nice. The Soke coaster sucked, um, but uh, yeah, that was a really, really nice small stop. And now we're gonna go back home. A few inches later. We're at our next park for some dumb alpine coaster. This is gonna be count number 83 for me. And then we're done after that. And then we're gonna go home. I don't know where the fuck we're going. <laughs> we, we found something. Bro, where the fuck are we at? We found the alpine coaster, let's go! I don't know how long we've, we've been walking for, but... Uh, <laughs> I, hope it is, I hope it was worth it. No, no, you know what the problem is? You said two of them, and now you said two. We're not going to die, but I think I'm All right, we just rode this alpine coaster at a, a park, which uh, were the name I'm not even gonna try to pronounce. Uh, it was a vegan alpine coaster, actually the shortest vegan alpine coaster that I have ever ridden. Um, it literally less than a minute uh, of ride time uh, or like of the pure descent. Uh, it had good laterals, but uh, other than that, it wasn't really exciting. But uh, yeah, it was still fine. I mean, vegan alpine coasters are good, but um, yeah, it was nothing outstanding, you know.